Hey everybody, welcome to Mission Control for a quick tips video. In this video, we're going to talk about overlap and keyframe shapes. You can use overlap and keyframe shapes to change how the frames progress through your fixtures, following the fixture order from the group or the order the fixture was selected, and direction. Overlap means 100% all fixtures fade the attributes at the same time. 50% the first fixture order completes 50% of its fade before the next one starts, continuing through all fixture order numbers in the group set selection order. 0% the first fixture in the order completes all of its fade before the next one starts, continuing through all the fixed order numbers in the section or an order group. So let's take a look at that. Here I am on version 15.1 of Titan on the Titan Go virtual interface. So if we go ahead and uh, we'll see what we've got in this group here. So if we go to our group, let me go edit group, and we'll select that group, and we do fixture order. We can see that we've got the order on our BMFLs, which is the fixtures we'll be using today. We've got one here, three in the middle. And then four, five, six, and seven through the order like that. Or if we were to use this group, we can see we've got its fixed order just going straight across with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So using this group, we'll go ahead and just uh, locate them real quick. And we put the zoom at zero. And then we're going to actually go ahead and just clear that. And we'll reselect them and we'll just build a quick flyout. To see on how to do that more exactly, please see our video on the classic flyout. Link in the description. Now that we've got our flyout, let's take a look at that with uh, capture on also. So here we see our full version of capture as well as our interface. So if we were to change our overlaps from 100 to say 50, we can see that our first fixtures get through its first frame and the second, the next fixture in the fixture order starts uh, as our first fixture goes into its uh, second frame. Here we set it to overlap to zero. I can see how it progresses through those fixtures now. It gets through one frame one, frame two, the next one starts frame one, frame two, so on and so forth down the line. If we change our direction to say outside in, we can see that our fixtures now progress from the outside to the inside. Or if we change it to the opposite, go outside in. We can also get more interesting effects if we change our overlap to say 75. And maybe we'll change our spread to four. And we'll change our direction back to straight across to show how that works out. So you see, by adjusting our spread and our overlap and our direction, we can achieve more interesting effects quickly in the keyframe shape generator. I hope you learned something. Please join us on Facebook at Avalites US. Join us here next time. Please subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Real stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.